Hi, I'm Matt Thorpe, head coach down at 12 Gauge MMA. Um, here today you're going to teach some techniques on um, clinch. Yeah, I'm going to look at my take on the tie clinch, the plum clinch, um, the way that I tend to use it in MMA, you've got to tweak it slightly. Yeah? Um, we're doing the technique for Warrior Collective today. So if I bring Carl in, I'll start going uh, through his technique. So your tie plum clinch is obviously usually taken, you know, I'm placing the hand on the top of the head here, yeah, the crown of the head here, and on top here, elbows are coming in on next to his shoulders here, boom, hit, okay? So this is where we're usually being, yeah? For MMA, you don't really see it much, okay? Reason being, here, this is pretty easy for him to control center line and get underneath and shoot on me, yeah? So you don't see it very much. So the way that um, you, you tend to do see it, and the way that it's more effective, you know, guys like Anderson Silva have made this pretty devastating, yeah, but they tend to use it against the cage. Reason being is I can drive a bit more weight in with my elbows, I can keep my hips back, and I can keep myself defended. So when I'm in this plum clinch here, well again I'm going to do the same thing, we always control behind it, the top of his head here, to bring his head down, to keep his posture broken, yeah? Elbows are going to drive in, and I'm going to look to put a bit of weight on him, yeah? And I want the weight on him so I can feel his movement, yeah? So if he drops, it's easier for me to back out, yeah? So I'm here, and I want to be driving my weight in, yeah? So if he starts to drop his weight, yeah, I can feel that level change, so I can either follow him, yeah, I can bring him into snap down stuff here, yeah, or if I want to, I can just disengage and get out at an angle, yeah, where I don't have to get involved in this striking, okay, yeah. So, quickly go through the description again, yeah. So when we're going to use it more against the cage, I'm not looking to take it in space. In space doesn't really work for me in MMA, yeah. We're going to use it against the wall, yeah. So when it's against the wall, I'm looking, it's just exactly the same clinch you'd usually take in tie, yeah. I'm coming over the top of his head, elbows in here, yeah. I'm going to keep my hips and my legs away, and I'm going to drive my weight into his shoulders, yeah, so I can feel, I want to be able to feel his movement with the tips of my elbow, yeah, so I'm here, and I can feel him level change, if he level changes, I can just get myself back out, yeah, because I've got, dri I've got weight driven into him, yeah, when my weight's driven into him, it's quite difficult for him to push forward, yeah, if I can't, if the problem I thought the problem in space here, it's harder for me to drive my weight in, he can just duck under it, yeah, so it's boom, there and I'm gone. Yeah, it's harder for him to do it. I can put more weight against the wall. I've got a solid object behind me, yeah? So I'm here, and I'm driving my weight in, yeah? My elbows are quite low on this, so I'm here, okay? If I feel him level change, yeah, I can come into snap down stuff, or we can just back ourselves back out, yeah? Obviously, the aim would be to land a couple of big knees, boom, here, yeah? And a couple of devastating knees, and if I need to back out, I can back out, yeah? So it's just my take on the, the tight clinch, how to use it in MMA. You know, you've got to tweak it slightly to make it work for you. Okay guys, so um, if you want to check out any more information on 12 Gauge, you can go over to our website, which is www.12gaugemma.com. Yeah? And you can also head over to the Warrior Collective website, which is www.warriorcollective.com, or you can check out the Warrior Collective YouTube channel. Thank you.